Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So these are the products that I'm going to be um, reviewing for you today. So I've got these mermaid charms that are at a cracking price at 29p for two. And I've also got these mermaid nail art pearls. There are two sort of colours. This is the light one and there's a darker version as well. And you can get all of this, this whole bag, and there's quite a few pearls in there for 89p. So absolute bargain for your money. So what I love about these mermaid charms is even though they're like less than 30p, they don't actually look like cheap tat if, if that makes any sense. It doesn't, just because you're getting like stuff at a good price, like some stuff you can just tell, whereas that one it doesn't particularly look cheap and it's super cute as well. So I thought I'd do a smooshy technique for my base, which you can see is going over a white base just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then before I add a top coat, I'm gonna just remove that liquid latex. So I decided to add a bit of a sparkly top coat just to add a little bit of glitter and a little bit of bling, which I just think looks really, really pretty. And I'm gonna be removing the tacky layer, which you always need to do before stamping if you're using gel polish. So I'm using my Bundle Munster and Twice Star plate, which obviously I'm having the mermaid um, Sort of scales here and very unlike me I'm going for a subtle stamp <laughs> normally I'd have like black and make it dead obvious but I just wanted this to be really subtle um, and I and I love it actually I think it's gorgeous so I've done it on all of the other nails except for the ring finger as that's where the gorgeous mermaid charm is gonna go so I'm applying a gel top coat now it is a little bit fiddly and a little bit faffy as I'm showing you here. It's slided all over the place so it might be better to use like a normal regular top coat just to get it to stick and then put your gel top coat around it. But if you did manage to get it to stick, quickly cure it to make sure it stays there. So I'm going to do the same thing again and because these are not flat bottomed, I would advise that you totally ignore what I'm doing on screen here, which is trying to apply it all in one go. I would advise that you basically get one of the pearls to go where you want it to go on your nail and then flash cure it for 10 seconds then apply some more top coat and flash cure that. Otherwise you're going to be here forever like me trying to get these pearls to stay in the place that you want them to and it's just a little bit baffy. So yeah, de definitely recommend flash curing. So that is it, that is the end look. And I think all of these um, products go beautifully together. And I think the subtle stamping is really good as well. I think if it was black, it might have been a little bit too harsh. But yeah, really love these products. Well and truly recommend them, Jelly Babes, as they are beautiful and are an excellent price as well. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this review slash design. Uh, thank you so much for coming and checking it out. And I'll see you in the next one, Jelly Babes. Take care, bye.